So number nine is a pretty quick question. And it says, suppose the following incorrect MATLAB script was written to compute the sum. So we're computing the sum of the series. And we just have to correct one line to fix the error in this code. So let's start reviewing it. So it says s equals zero. So I'm assuming this might be the sum. p equals one. I think that might be a running product. And we'll check out. So it says for i equals two through 100. And that makes sense because two through 100 is 99 iterations. And we have 99 over here. So that's correct. P equals P times two. So this is a running product, so a run prod. So this is possibly right here. Since it's times two, we know that every time N increases, we're multiplying by two every single time. And then it says S equals S plus P, which is the running product, divided by cosine of I plus seven. Okay, so this seems to be fine right here. This seems to be our running sum. And so we have to figure out what our mistake is. Well. We're starting off with i of 2 through 100. So let's see, let's trace what this is saying. It's saying p equals p times 2. So that means for our first i at 2, we got p is equal to 2. And then our second one, we have s equals s plus p divided by cosine of i over 7. So this will be s equals 0 plus p, which is 2, divided by cosine of i, which is 2, plus 7. This is all in parentheses, right? So if we look here, we have our running product. We have cosine of n plus 1. So cosine of 2, so that means n plus 1 must equal 2. So n equals 1, right? So that means we're starting off at our first n. Well, if n equals 1, then let's look at our running product. Let's see if this one's correct. We have 2 to the n plus 3, which is 2 to the 1 plus 3, is equal to, right here, 2, right? Well, this doesn't make any sense. So this is not working out. When we have 2 of 1 to the 1 plus 3, that's equal to 2 to the 4th, which is equal to 16. So we need to have 16 up here when i starts off as 1. So how are we supposed to get that? Well, over here we have p equals p times 2. So we know that p times 2 must equal 16. For our first term, we have to get 16. So p must equal 8. So this seems to be our mistake right here. So that means when we correct this, p must equal 8. And this is how we fix the entire code.